Hey everyone. Um, sorry I look a little bit like hell. I just took a shower actually because, um, well, I'm back in my apartment uh, from Kyoto. Um, I've taken my contacts out for the first time since like Wednesday night. Um, of course my contacts are the Oasis ones, the AccuV Oasis, so they breathe quite a bit and they're actually pretty okay to wear in your eyes for several days in a row. Um, I don't like doing it though. I still try to make it a point to take them out every night. Wasn't able to do that in Kyoto because I don't want to risk destroying my glasses or losing them or anything like that. It was just easier to not deal with them. So, took them out, got my glasses on, um, which kind of hides my nose burn a bit. Um, my nose got a little toasted. I did take sunscreen with me to Kyoto, but I don't know, maybe had paired with the big black sunglasses plus only applying once a day didn't help so much. So I've got like a nice line here on my nose. Ugh, not good. But I'll fix it with makeup when I go back to work, which is what I'm gonna do anyway, so whatever. Um, so a couple exciting things today. Of course I'm home, which is exciting. Um, it was wonderful in Kyoto. I loved it, but I'm really glad to be home. Funny that I'm calling Tokyo home, right? But it is home. Home is where I am. That's how I think of it. But anyway, so I went and bought Monster Hunter G for the Wii. Now, some of you may be saying, but you don't have a Wii. No, I don't. Not yet. I bought this because it has this controller. Yes, it's a classic controller with the, um, with like this little dragony dew on it. It's really exciting. I, I like it. Um, but I decided to get this. It also has a preview of Monster Hunter 3 in it, which I heard kind of sucks, actually. Um, and some other things, but I'm gonna get a Japanese Wii. I'm also gonna get Wii Fit then, and I also want to get the Taiko game. Um, I might as well, right? So, uh, I mean, I kind of wanted a US Wii, but I don't think I care that much. If I really care when I move back to the US, if I, well, I'm gonna eventually, I guess. But um, when I move back to the US, I can do the horrible thing, sorry to whoever, but, and crack it so it's region free. Um, not that I particularly want to do that. I could always just buy a second Wii, but I think that's a little excessive. Maybe. Anyway, um, the other exciting thing, and the reason I'm making this pa this uh, video in the first place, is actually because I got a package that I saw when I came in the door when I got home earlier today from George. Um, it sounds a little bit weird, and I, I don't like to use first names, but George, I don't think you have a handle that I know of, so you're just going to be George. I thought about calling you George Porgy, but that would not be very nice of me. So, send a package. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what's in it, because in one of my previous whiny moments, I complained that I had no um, Cadbury cream eggs or mini eggs, and then uh, Mook House family sent me some, but I was still really sad, because I'm like, you can't have Easter without them. So... He said he would totally send me some, and I was like, you're kidding, right? And he said no. So, I gave George my address, and a box arrived, <laughs> which I was not expecting, because nobody sends me mail. I mean, I did get a couple packages from, you know, um, Jaden, and eventually Mia is going to send one. I know she's going through some rough times now, so she doesn't have the ability, but yeah. So what's in here? Oh, dear God. Mini caramel eggs. Ah. Oh, oh God. Mini cream eggs. So they're the mini ones. Ooh. Royal dark mini eggs. And regular mini eggs. Oh, amazing. And there is a note in here. To can't see. <laughs> and he apparently knew I wasn't expecting it. Uh, Puck, I know you probably didn't expect to actually get a package from me, so I hope this was a pleasant surprise. I couldn't find a store that had any of the larger eggs in stock. I looked everywhere I could. I'm sorry, or I'm sure these will work out just fine, though. Hopefully this made it all the way to you without getting smushed or damaged. Happy carrot. belated Easter. And he drew a little bunny and signed G. I don't know if you can see the bunny he drew. So, yay! Thank you so much! 
I'm gonna like eat all of these now. Okay, maybe I, I shouldn't do that, but I will eat uh, stuffing going everywhere. Um, I will eat some of these now. I think I'm going to start with these. The Royal Dark, because I've never had these before. Um, a little bit of the candy shells got squished on them, but oh, so good. But they made it great. So thank you very much. Um, let's see what else happened in the world of Sprite. Um, I'm going to continue uploading the stuff from Kyoto. It's taking a lot because I like to resize all the photos so they're the same size so they're not huge photos and taking up tons of space. Plus, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to upload them all to Flickr. Um, also trying to upload the videos as I go instead of all at once because then it's just an overload. I like to kind of post them as I finish getting everything done. Um, and of course making the commentary, actually getting them onto Flickr, it's, it's a lot of work, so I'm keeping up with that as best I can. I have only uploaded one part so far, and there's, I think, going to be eight, so I'm going to get on that. Um, also, when I got back, also sitting on top of the box was a, an envelope from my work with my visa paperwork stuff. So my application for extension of foreign, of a period of stay. So I'll be filling that out and extending my visa, assuming they let me stay. But anyway, um, I guess that's all. I'm going to get back to watching Stargate because I'm a super geek and uploading these photos and stuff. So talk to y'all later. Um, I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for the stuff, George. I'm so happy. Thank you. I should send you, I don't know, I didn't get any postcards in Kyoto. I was going to, but I was so tired. Um, so I guess I'll get back to that later. Anyway, I'll send you something. Cheers!